In my previous video, I showed you how to stylize the Upload Choose File button in Elementor Forms and CSS. Now let's see how to change the appearance of fields in the form and the labels as well as placeholder text. I have a basic form here in Elementor on my page with, some, with a few fields like name, email, message and the send button including this upload choose file field that we styled in one of my previous videos. Now this form has a CSS class. I assigned a class called upload form to my form but you can assign any class here. You can name it whatever you want. Just remember, remember the name because you will use it in your CSS code. Now let's start by styling these, uh, these fields here. Uh, so let's say that I want to change the border, maybe the I want to make them more rounded and so on. So let's try to change this in CSS. I'm using simple CSS and JavaScript plugin. I will link to it in the description of this video. And uh, let's start by typing my form class, which was upload form. So I will type dot upload form. And then to start to style these input uh, input fields, these rectangles, Basically, I will type dot elementor field textual and then I can change the border radius. So I'll put it to 10 pixels. Um, I can also change the border. Let's say that I want if I wanted to make it three pixels solid and red. I will also type important here just to override some of the default settings. In my case, I want to keep this without the border for the purposes of this video. So I will type zero pixels here. I want to change the background color. Right now they are white because they had a border. Since they don't have a border, let's say I want this color to be F0, F0, F0. And I will type important. And maybe I also want to change some margins, but let's first see how this looks like. So I will type, I will click on update and refresh my page. So you can see that it already changed the appearance. Uh, now you can play around with these values. You can add more uh, of a border radius, you can add a border and so on. I want to add a little bit of space between my label and the field. So in order to do this, I will just type here margin top and I will type 8 pixels. Maybe also I will add a bottom margin of 12 pixels and click on update. Refresh my page and this is how it looks like now. Now the next step is to change these labels that are appearing above my form fields. The labels like name, email and message. Maybe you want to change the font, the font color, size and so on. So let's go to my CSS, type again upload form because I want to apply these changes only to this form, not to all forms on my website, but only to this form. So that's why I'm using this form, uh, the class actually that I assigned to my form. So to change the labels, uh, let's type dot elementor field label and then I can change the font size to 14 pixels for example font family I will say open sans for example maybe I need to type important as well and font weight sorry so type font weight 600 and I will also type important here if I click on update and refresh, let's see what we've got. So you see that we changed the appearance of the labels. Now you can play around with paddings, for example, if you want to move them a little bit to the right and so on. So you can change these values as, as you wish. The last thing, uh, or not the last thing, but the next thing I would like to do is to change the appearance of the placeholders here in my form fields, like name, email and message. These placeholders that appear in my form fields. So to do this, again, we will start by typing upload form and then I want to type elementor field and then I can change font size like 14 pixels, font weight, let's keep it 400 and let's change our font family or just to keep it um, like our labels, open sans and click on update, refresh our page, and you can see that now we styled the labels for our, our form fields. 
And the last thing I would like to do is to change the appearance of the send button. Now you can do this of course uh, in Elementor, but it's much easier to do it uh, from one place in CSS where you have more control. And also because you can have multiple forms on your website that you want to style in the same way. So you can simply assign them the class and all these changes when you apply them in your CSS, they will basically be applied automatically on all forms. So you do not have to go through through Elementor pages and change each and every one of them manually. So to change the submit button, we will type here upload form because that's our form. And then we want to type Elementor button. And in our case, the type of, um, of this button is called submit because that's kind of like a send button. So type will be submit. If you don't want to uh, style this particular button, but all the buttons uh, in your Elementor form, you do not need to specify this type, but I do because I want to apply these changes only to this submit button. So I will open my code here and then I can write background color. You can put this any color you want. My color will be E56458, for example. Then I want to change the border radius to something like 20 pixels. I also want to change the font family to we'll keep it consistent. Open Sans. I'm adding these important tags because sometimes it does not override the default settings. And maybe font weight as well to put to 600. Let's click on update, refresh, and let's see what we have now. There you go. So we've styled all these fields, labels, placeholders, as well as buttons. Uh, the, the choose file button that I styled in my previous video, you can take a look at it and see how to change the appearance of this uh, particular button because it's a little bit different uh, than the process that we are using now. Uh, but um, that's it basically. I hope you like this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe.